that's a look at the New York World's Fair. Those who visit it should plan to see it by night as well as by day, because by night it takes on that neon-lighted dramatic look associated with New York. It's also wise to consult a map before you come, to fix an itinerary, to be prepared to stand in line, and to take your time. You can waste an awful lot of steps if you don't know where you're going. A number of criticisms have been made of the fair, apart from those we've mentioned in passing. One is that it is expensive. Of course, it can be expensive, but it doesn't have to be. That depends on how you want to do it. Another criticism is that it is excessively commercial. My impression is that the degree of commercialism is not out of keeping with the rest of American life. As a matter of fact, there are very few complaints about the fair from the people who go to it. The general atmosphere of the fair is almost sedate. The absence of a rowdy amusement area no doubt contributes to that. I think of the fair as a pleasant place, clean and good-natured. It has its flops, but in some particulars it is exciting and even brilliant, and that's saying a good deal. Edwin Newman, NBC News, at the New York World's Fair. NBC News, which is solely responsible for its content.